Hi, my name is Addie Garfinkel. I'm the Student Senate President at Santa Barbara City College. I'm currently sitting at Chumash Point overlooking the Santa Barbara Harbor. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> um, some people might ask, what is the ASG? The ASG is the Associated Student Government. To get involved with our Associated Student Government, also called Student Senate, you have to go to the Office of Student Life and pick up an application. You pick that up from Amy Collins and she'll fill you in on all the basic information you need. We need to get 200 student signatures and some people say that's an awful lot but I got all my student signatures in a half hour just going table to table in the cafeteria and telling people hey I'm running for Student Senate, um, this is my platform, would you sign for me? So it's doable. Then you have to get three teachers to endorse you as well as a dean and one of the vice presidents on college, on the college campus rather. Um, at that point, if you can turn your application in by Monday, you can be interviewed by the Senate that following Friday, and then you'll be voted on at that particular time. To get involved in other things on campus, you know, there's a lot of different venues. You could be involved in clubs, you can be involved in some of the other student organizations, and don't think that having disabilities or anything along those lines limits you, because I'm dyslexic and I'm a DSPS student and I'm student body president, so it doesn't. I got involved because when I first came, I was really frustrated over the parking on campus. And then student body president Tom Fitzgerald gave me a venue to vent. And after talking to him, he thought I might be good for getting involved in Senate myself. Now, I was a member of the Hillel Club here on campus at that time. And the following year, I actually had to drop out of Hillel because I became the commissioner of clubs and it's generally best to try to stay as non-biased as possible if you're going to be overseeing clubs. After being the commissioner of clubs the following year I ran for VP Senate Affairs which essentially does the same thing as commissioner of clubs only instead of overseeing clubs you oversee the internal workings of the Senate and this year I'm as I said student body president. Santa Barbara City College is a really great place to come to school we have a lot of awesome programs um, we have a marine diving technology program and there's only two in the state and ours is actually the best in the state. We have an awesome poli-sci program. A lot of our political science majors are actually transferring to places like Stanford and Berkeley. Um, last year's student body president is one of them. We have a Na Native American studies, Chicano studies, ethnic studies, women's studies, black studies that are all minority centered and they're really underrepresented. And we're one of the few community colleges that does have a strong emphasis on those as well. We also have great programs in biology, chemistry. Um, some of my friends have been biology majors and are now in med school. So we do some really good prep work for pre-med. And then we even have fun PE classes like, see the beach behind us? We have surfing and fishing for PE classes. I mean, what type of a place has surfing for a class? You actually get credit for it. So my favorite teacher on campus is actually um, Tina Foss. She teaches Native American Studies. Now Tina's left over, she's been teaching here for forever. And she's left over from a day and age where teachers were required to have teacher's credentials rather than grad degrees to teach at a community college. And because of that, she has an endearing and a very different way of viewing education. Rather than saying, I'm an expert in my field and I know what I'm talking about, she says, my job is to make sure you learn. And if her biggest thing is if you don't know your own history, it's hard to understand your society or yourself and how you fit into it. So that's why she's my favorite. If anybody has questions or concerns, I really do encourage you to talk to the Student Senate. Um, we have a public comment section at the beginning of every Senate meeting. I'm on Facebook, Addie Garfinkel on Facebook. Pretty easy to find me, you know, I'm right there. Um, I also have Ask Addie at springform.com, so people are encouraged to use that if they can. We, once a month we do Coffee with the Senders where we provide free coffee and bagels to anybody that wants to come in and essentially have a gripe session. You can say you know something you don't like and we'll hear you and listen to what you have to say and if you have an idea for improving the school, we want to have everything improved and we want to make it better and more student accessible, so let us know and if we can change something, we will. It's also really important that students get involved. For example, September 30th, just coming up for me in a couple of weeks, is our Board of Trustees debate. This year we have 
Board of Trustees, which is the highest governing board on our campus or in our district, has four seats open for election and there are eight people running. So it's important that students are actively involved in participating in their own governance. And going to Board of Trustee meetings or being involved in things like debates or even going to the debates themselves is a really good way to do so. You know, Gandhi said you're supposed to be the change you want to see in the world and I think that Santa Barbara City College is a great place to do that.